Welcome to The Wrong Review. My name is Will. We're going to do tech unboxing, tech reviews, and tech tutorials. In today's episode, I'm reviewing the Actel B705 Wireless Typewriter Retro RGB Mechanical Keyboard from a company called WhatGeek.com. And as you can see here, um, I really like this design because it does have that retro typewriter feel to it. It has the two knobs on the side, and then it has a the stand holder as well. If you're looking for some nostalgia in terms of, you know, using a typewriter, this is, is kind of a cool look. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you my setup, my overall impressions, and why if you're someone like myself that has three different, multiple devices, I have an iPad, a Galaxy Fold 4, and my MacBook here, and you're looking for a one, keyboard that can connect to multiple devices and be compatible with hotkey mapping to different platforms such as Android, Windows, and iOS, why this keyboard is the one for you. As you're watching the video and find it helpful, please remember to give it a thumbs up, like the video, and consider subscribing to my channel for similar content. This is the Acto ACCTO Bluetooth Mechanical Keyboard. And you can see here it actually won Best Award in 2022. Um, so this is uh, the Bluetooth Mechanical Keyboard, this is the model B7051 Bluetooth 5.1 Keyboard uh, with the integrated cables here. And I like this look, it's very unique because it looks like an old school typewriter. And so let's flip it to the back and see what's on there. So some specs it has, it's an integrated cradle, connected to four devices, Bluetooth rechargeable, and there's an extra color keycap. Again, it's compatible with red, blue, or brown switches. It has a built-in mobile cradle, which I will demonstrate, which is up there. Four devices, Bluetooth 5.1, uh, mode and volume change dial, extra color keycaps, there's two of them. Adjustable backlighting, unlimited key input, so anti-ghosting, three-step height, 18 functional keys, and multi-OS for Android, iOS, Windows, or Mac. And I'm gonna be using this with actually all four, um, because I have an Android Galaxy Fold 4, I'm gonna use that on there, as well as an iPad, and then I'm gonna use it with my MacBook as well. So this is, this is what it looks like, so pretty cool. Okay, so let's open it up and see what it comes in the box. When you open it up, it comes with instructions, so it comes with Bluetooth mechanical keyboard instructions comes with a little screwdriver, the USB type C to USB type A braided cable. This is used for charging or if you want to keep it wired to your laptop or desktop. Here is the keyboard. This is the B705, so it comes with the full keyboard layout. There's all the different functions up here has a volume or some knobs up here, and then here's the cradle up here. And then on the bottom here, the three adjustable feet on here so you can Adjust it up to different heights, depending on your preference. Very easy to use. And there's each one, which I appreciate, has a bit of a rubber grip on there, so that's nice. And then here also has the rubber grip in all in two, three, four, five areas as well. So it doesn't, so on this table it prevents it from, from sliding. Like you have to push really hard like I'm doing this. And that's, the purpose of the rubber feet uh, that's on the bottom of the keyboard. So some of the features about this keyboard is the ability to connect up to four devices. You can connect three devices up via Bluetooth and one through hardwired through USB-C cable. And all you have to do is just cycle through your different connections. And I already have three devices connected to Bluetooth and once it's established, then it's a solid blue line. And I like it because there's a stand right here allows you to connect and hold your devices. So this is already paired to my 10 inch iPad. And if I put my 10 inch iPad right in the stand, it is nice as a nice viewing angle where I don't have to uh, do some neck stream looking down 
it is at a very good um, angle and level. And then when I start typing, it's hard. I'm so used to an ergonomic keyboard. I am using right now. And then if I decide I want to start using my Galaxy Fold 4, I can take that off, put my Galaxy Fold 4 in there, and then I just turn it, and it's already connected, and I can start using it right away. So I'm just gonna put my keyboard down. This is the Ecto-3 keyboard. So again, it's really nice, um, especially if you don't have an existing keyboard for um, mobile devices such as like an iPad or a Galaxy Fold 4. Um, it's very nice, it's interchangeable as well. And it's very easy pairing. Once you pair it, all you do is you flip the knob here and it automatically connects. And as you can see, it took literally less than two seconds for it to, for me to switch between two different devices. Not only two different devices, but two different platforms as well. And it automatically connects, which is fantastic. And the good thing about this keyboard is it allows you to have mappings for your different operating systems. So if I do this here, so you can see here has Android, Windows, or iOS. And uh, since I am using uh, iPad, if I hit function iOS, it automatically maps some shortcut keys on there. So for instance, if I said to go to home screen or app switcher, if I hit Alt H, it takes me to my dock and there's my screen here. So this keyboard does have RGB lighting. So what I want to do is just kind of go through the different type of RGB lighting options that you have. When you hit function delete on the keyboard, it will just cycle through the different RGB settings that you can have. The one thing to note is you can also adjust the brightness as well as the timing of the light strobe. And here I'm just kind of cycling through um, this quick demo in this little session here. And then again, you can adjust the brightness, you can decrease it, or you can actually completely turn it off. I found the RGB lighting pretty pleasant. Um, I don't like the, the change in colors too often, so I kind of leave it static as one color. Uh, this was kind of a little too much for me, but it might be for you. In terms of building construction, it is really nice. It's, it's really heavy duty, and again, I'm surprised. I'm so used to those cheap keyboards. Uh, I can't really, I'm actually trying really hard to flex it, and I can't really flex it and it looks quality, quality build. And then the fact that you can also, if you want to change the switches, you can pull out the keycaps, uh, the button, and then look at and switch out the switches if you want to. And the red linear switches, they feel and sound okay. And it is very responsive. It's something you do have to get used to. There is actually a lot of give, a lot of pressure points that you need to, to to put on there. Um, you can change, I'm sure there's some software that allows you to change the setting, but you do have to press fairly far down to activate the switches. And that's something, that's a personal preference uh, that I, I don't like. I like a shorter travel time, the time I actually activate the switch, but it's a little bit longer. It's something to get used to as well. So that concludes my video of the Acto B705 Wireless Tech Writer Retro RGB Mechanical Keyboard. Um, I will have a link in the description below to whatgeek.com. They did offer my viewers, if you're interested in this, a 10% coupon, and I'll enter the coupon code in the description below. All right, so if you have any questions or comments about this, please leave it down below. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time.